Gold is one of the most valuable and sought-after metals in the world, a symbol of wealth and power. But how is it actually made? To find out, we visited the largest gold mine in the U.S. and the most secure underground vault on Earth. Billions of years ago, meteorites brought gold to Earth. It remained buried until miners started digging for it. During the California gold rush, people chased their dreams of riches without realizing even larger deposits lay deep underground. Gold-rich quartz veins formed when superheated silica rose from Earth's core. Today, finding gold means scanning rocks for tiny, invisible particles. In northeastern Nevada lies the biggest gold deposit in the U.S. Instead of pickaxes, miners now use electromagnetic scanners flying above the ground, able to detect gold-related minerals deep underground. Once a promising site is found, drills bore down as far as two kilometers. Nevada's massive mine, owned by global giant Barrick Gold, includes open pit and underground sections. Explosives made from ammonium nitrate blast tons of rock daily, each ton holding only a few grams of gold. Giant shovels and trucks carry hundreds of tons per trip. The ore is crushed, mixed with water, and processed with cyanide, which helps separate the gold. Carbon particles attract the gold, and electrolysis pulls it from the solution. Underground mining is tougher and hotter, with tunnels stretching over 80 kilometers and temperatures reaching 60 degrees Celsius. A massive air conditioning system keeps it bearable. The process underground mirrors the one above, blasting, hauling, and crushing. Then, the ore is heated with water and oxygen under pressure to break down sulfides and release the gold. Next comes smelting. The gold is melted at over 1,100 degrees Celsius into 25 kilogram bars, each worth more than $1 million. But it takes processing up to 8,200 tons of rock to get just one bar. This mine alone produces around 26 tons of gold each year.
The final step is refinement, where impurities are removed and each bar is stamped with its purity. Much of the world's gold ends up at the Federal Reserve Bank in New York. Its underground vault, built in the 1920s, holds what was once over 12,000 tons of gold, nearly a quarter of the world's supply. Even today, heavily armed trucks deliver gold to this high security facility, which is worth over $380 billion. A stack of bars may look small, but it's so heavy, it could crush a car. So, what would you do if you had all that gold? Let us know in the comments. And if you're curious about how a gold chain is made, check out the link in the description and the top comment.